Welcome Leo, here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of August the 16th to the 22nd. The first card that you've been given here is your all over energy card and it is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups refers to maintaining balance. You're leaving something behind and you're going in a new direction. You've decided that it's time for you to move in a completely different direction. Maybe something's completed, it's finished, but you've made this decision to move forward. You know that you're going in a better direction. You know that you have more prosperity, more, more uh, positive possibilities um, and offers coming in if you take this route. Um, I do think that you could be going towards uh, a new love affair. Uh, for others, maybe you have left a love affair and you're going in a new one. Um, there's a teddy bear here and there's a picture of a couple okay that are kissing and it's very very interesting this card with the graphics on it. She's looking back, she's reflecting on something she's what she's left behind, but she's getting the comfort to know that she's making the right decision to go in a, in, a, in a new direction. So some of you may be leaving and walking away from a situation or maybe a friendship or relationship of some sort, but this could be, uh, you know, the best thing you've ever done. Your cups are going to fill and you are going in the right direction. So maintain your balance. You're not there yet. You know there's a better future ahead for you. Coming in with your first energy card, you have the Hermit, going within, going on your own, going on your own personal journey. Sometimes this refers to uh, taking a time out from a relationship, pulling back, stepping back to think about things, to contemplate things. And maybe that's why you're, you're not where you want to get yet, going in this new direction. You're still thinking about it, processing it. For others, you're on your own journey. You're looking for your own light, your own insight, uh, your own... Um, your own journey here where it is you want to go and this is like take a retreat recharge go within i always say when you go within you'll never go without maybe some of you are actually going on a retreat somewhere to be on your own and to think about what it is you want to do and the direction you're going to go for others i think you're going to be able to step up and you could be wanting to give good advice to other people and be a mentor to other people. You're on your journey and you could be on a spiritual journey right now, wanting to bring people into your circle of like minds. Beautiful. Finding yourself, going on that journey is beautiful. Meditate and manifest what you want. That's what this is all about. Now, in the angel deck, time to shine. In the life section, you've been given time to enjoy gifts, abundance, new career opportunities, and gratitude that's beautiful so moving forward maybe some of you are in business or you worked with your partner here and you've decided to move on now and go in a new direction know that this is abundance a new career opportunity maybe for some of you that's coming in maybe this is what you're going towards you're walking away from one going into another so enjoy the gifts that are coming into you and the the, uh, the opportunities presenting themselves and remember the more gratitude we throw out into the universe the more abundance we will receive so being grateful for what you have and the decisions and choices you're making getting that guidance coming in while you're while you are taking your retreat while you are thinking about this part of your journey and meditating on it to manifest what you want now you have the swan and the swan says loyal and faithful partnership is the blessing of the swan although or through all life storms and challenges, the loyalty stays strong. So this could be somebody around you. This could be somebody, your partner, a close friend, a soulmate, a twin flame, somebody around you, uh, or even a partner that is around you in... Um, <clears throat> in your job or your career and you're able to go forward now and know know that they have loyalty they have they have um they have the ability to stay they're 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 grounded they're not leaving you they're going to stay by your side this is long term uh this is this is security this is a good foundation here so this is great when the swan shows up it's good partnership it's a it's two people it's two energies getting together to collectively and collaborate together you also may be thinking about the loyalty of someone, working hard for that. Are they working? Are they being loyal to you? Um, stepping up and addressing that. But often this is lifetime commitment. This is often about a situation around someone, and it could be in your marriage, but <clears throat> or partnerships, staying together, uh, you know, through thick and thin. So I do like this card. But communication is the main thing here, right? Being able to step up and discuss, you know, what each of you can do for each other equally. 
<clears throat> okay, coming in uh, behind you, you have the moon, you have the knight of wands, and you have the queen of cups. So um, stepping up into the power of your intuition, your ability, your psychic abilities, your gut feelings, and also your wisdom bank, you know, thinking above the neck, uh, being able to tap into your book of knowledge and <clears throat> what you've been taught. Uh, you may think as though you can't get a breath of air, you're sinking below, uh, you, you want to rise and be able to move above this, and you will be able to. You could be dealing with a Pisces energy, the moon stands for Pisces, maybe uh, there's someone around you being very emotional, and that is who you're, you're, ha you're communicating and dealing with. For others, there's information that you need to find, and you need to communicate, and you need to delve deep, and you need to dig deep, and you need to do your research. Get all that information. Once you do, and all those secrets are revealed, you're going to be able to move forward, because the moon comes out at the darkest times of our day, and it illuminates everything in its path. So you're going to be able to see uh, the, the truth and clarity. You're going to be able to see what it is you need to know, so that you don't have to feel like you 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 can't get a breath. You can't, you can't see something of the forest for the trees here. Here. Coming in next, you have the King of Wands. Something's going to happen suddenly. Energy's going to shift. You could be hearing about some information, correspondence. You're going to have to act on it. It's like a, it's almost like an emergency. You've got to get up and go and do this thing. Uh, but it could be also signing documents and legal, um, <clears throat> legal documentation and correspondence as well. It says... You can't procrastinate. You have to go for it. But you also have to be very careful. Make sure uh, you cross your T's and dot your I's uh, before you agree or sign to anything. This also refers to a hot and heavy, fast love affair that could be coming in for some of you. But I always say this particular Knight of Wands, he exits sometimes as fast as he enters. So enjoy the time if this is for you while it lasts. I've always seen this card this way. So coming in, you have the Queen of Queen of Cups, taking care of yourself. Maybe you're being asked to step up and mentor mother or nurture other people. Maybe it's your family. But you need to know that you need to step up and take care of your physical health and emotional health as well. Being able to move forward and do those things for other people is important. But you need to know that you are capable of doing it. Taking care and nurturing yourself first. So there could be some issues within your family circle where you feel you have to step up and take on that nurturing role, okay, that mothering role, uh, being there for someone else. But just, you know, be careful and nurture yourself first. Take care of your needs so that you have, you know, all the energy uh, that you, you need to do this. Temperance, coming in in your center position, your crowning position, the Ten of Cups, and you have the Devil. What a card. Okay, so Temperance, taking your time here. You know, your cups are filling here. You're going to see happiness, harmony within your home life, your children, and also stability in your, in your finances. I do think, you know, I love this card. It talks about everything working out in your favor. Uh, whatever your goals are, you've been working out. Things are going to level out. And maybe it's the health of your family that's improved as well, and it could be the health of your relationships but things are going to be working out it may be taking time okay the temperance comes up and the temperance says step back slow down um, just like the hermit here step back slow down process what it is you want to do and then go in don't rush in don't make any rash decisions don't do overindulge don't over obsess it's all about thinking before you take that move the devil the devil is, about, is, you know, the card of addictions, but it's also about addictive behavior or bad habits or things that hold you back from moving forward in a progressive, positive direction. What's holding you down? Uh, you know, sit back and think, you know, maybe the way you're doing things right now isn't working out, so you got to tweak it. you got to think about it. Um, you know, maybe it's a money issue. You've got to move money around or you've got to put yourself on a budget. Um, whatever you need to do to move forward in a progressive, healthy direction, one that's going to bring you the joy and success you want, you're going to let those things go. Any toxic energy, anything holding you back, let it go. There could be somebody around you with addictive behavior. Know that you cannot make a person do something they're not ready to accept, take responsibility for, or want to do. So some of you, I think, may be walking away from a toxic situation so that you can move forward in a progressive, positive direction for yourself, which I think you're going to be doing here because you've got this beautiful crowning energy of the Ten of Cups. Doesn't get much better than that. Happy ever after knowing you need to go in a new direction here right you're not there yet maintaining your balance taking things are taking time but you know that's the right direction coming in towards you you have the world you have the four of swords and you have the ten of swords so 
Okay, so the world says basically, uh, the, you know, you know now that you know the direction you want to go. You're going to have uh, the ability to go there. You could be traveling. You could be uh, traveling for business. You could be traveling for pleasure. But at the end of the day, you are given the resources by the universe now to pick and choose what it is you want to do. The world is your oyster. You can go anywhere you want now. I mean, the, the Ten of Cups says pretty much you're going to get it. But it could be taking time. This is full circle, completion. Being able to take things now to the next level is a beautiful card. You could have pushed yourself very hard here. The Ten of Swords says it's over. But you may have felt as though you were in a position where you felt as though you were left out in the cold. You were on your own, having to fight the burdens of the world. And you almost felt as though you'd been betrayed and stabbed in the back. Uh, but now you're going in a new direction. Just like the Eight of Cups says, you're on your way. You need to maintain balance. You're not there yet, but you know this is a better direction for you to go. You're free now. You're free with the world to take that move and go where it is you want to travel. What is it you want to do? Your passions, your goals, uh, your you know, whatever it is, now you're free to do it. It's over. The worst is over. You're going in a brand new direction. But... It may have depleted your energy level. And just like I said here with the queen, you need to nurture and take care of yourself. So you could be mending through a broken heart. You could have had to deal with something on a very emotional level. And now the universe says you need to get your rest. Literally, go and get your rest. Some of you may have insomnia. You may not be sleeping well. Do what you need to do to make your bedroom, your sanctuary, where it is you feel comfortable to sleep perfectly comfortable for you to do that maybe some of you need to meditate more you know like the hermit says go within and do some meditation listen to the music light those candles whatever it is you need to do to relax yourself before you go to bed actually today on social media there was someone talking about lavender and i used to grow lavender i had property when i was much younger and i used to harvest it and pack it up in little packets and give it to everybody that came in my presence people who came for readings or came for reiki or whatever they always left with a, with a special crystal stone or they they left with my lavender because it's very very relaxing so do what you need to do to relax so that you can sleep well here beautiful okay let's see what we have for clarification but I think a lot of you are going through a situation here where you're you know you're you're going within you're thinking about going in a new direction <clears throat> Um, loyalty is very important to you. I think you're going to be in a situation where you will be stable and you will find that in, in a partnership here that will be lasting long term. So this is beautiful. You're going to have reason here to celebrate and be happy and enjoy the abundance coming in. Just don't rush into anything too quickly. I think you're making some very profound and important choices and decisions that are going to lead you in a better direction. So let's see what we have here. Past, present, and future energy, my beautiful spirit. Coming in with the moon, uh, you have again the double message of the Eight of Cups. So you definitely are going on a journey here. You've thought about it long and hard, and, and it's taking time. Maintain your balance, but you have come to that conclusion. You're going in a better direction, leaving something to go there in a better direction. The Knight of Wands, that fast-moving energy you have, again, you have the Four of Swords. You're, you're getting an awful lot of double messages here that means you need to take your time and rest up here. Um, this is something that's going to come in very quickly uh, for you to have to do. You have to do it, but afterwards it may drain you, okay? Coming in with the Queen of Cups, nurturing yourself, strength. Um, don't allow your emotions to get carried away. She takes care of her emotions. She handles them. But there could be a challenging situation where you may react because you're tired, because you're not thinking straight. Uh, and, you're, and you may react and then regret. So don't go into any uh, communication with others with the, the roar of the lion. Step back. Take a breath. Look at the whole situation. Be a good listener. And deal with it with the gentleness of a lion. Deal with any situations with honey rather than vinegar this week. Temperance, taking your time, not rushing in. Here comes that Knight of Pentacles. Perfect card to land on this because he is the slowest moving knight on the zodiac. He makes a detailed plan. He crosses his T's, dots his eyes. He doesn't want to fall back on plan B. He doesn't want to have to have that happen. So I think, you know, while you're here in this slow mode, in this temperance, taking your time, you might want to do that. You might want to make a plan where it is you're going and where, you know, what it is you want to do when you get there and who it is you want to bring with you. So definitely, uh, you know, taking your time and making out a detailed plan will lead you to your success here this week. 
happy ever after doesn't get much better than that and of course you get the card of celebration the three of cups so there's going to be something here that's going to be beautiful maybe you know there's going to be a child brought into the family uh whether it's you know uh being born or being adopted maybe you know you're finally happy you've found your love of your life here and it's like you're going to find the gold at the end of the rainbow here and you're going to want to share it with people so there's an occasion that uh coming in here an event of some sort that you're going to want to get together with those that matter to you the most and celebrate be happy with the devil you've got the ten of pentacles yeah this is you know kind of like the jackpot card i call it you know winner takes all uh realizing you've learned from the past and your experiences and you're moving on in a new direction this is also prosperity and also stability in your finances being able to share that with someone who truly has integrity who truly wants to stay there with you and is on, you know, long-term plan here, I see. Ten of Pentacles is, is fantastic security. So you get the Ten of Cups and you get the Ten of Pentacles. So this is beautiful energy. The world is yours, my friends. And it's like rebirth. The judgment card showed up here. That means you've made a judgment call and you've decided that you're going in a new direction. You've been given. The universe has said, hey, you've got a second chance for anything you want to be happy. So stay in charge of your emotions. You're going in a new direction. And it's like you know second chances rebirth here the world is yours now wonderful ten of swords ending that challenging situation new beginnings ace of pentacles so there's prosperity coming in maybe you're leaving to go to a new job a new career opening your own business uh but this can also refer to uh you know increased salary um promotions degrees diplomas uh you know anything like that but the future is open to you now and you're going forward this is a brand new beginning i you know you really are <laughs> moving in a new direction my beautiful leos now you're four of swords you've got the eight of pentacles working for your goals going for what you want perfecting your craft crossing your t's dotting your i's just like i said making a plan here like the pay the the page of or the knight of pentacles so i do think you know some of you could be taking a course a new form of study to add to your resume but stay on course here don't don't veer off your path because you're on the right path to get success here in finances this is about your career and finances here and as long as you apply the work the time and effort you're going to see success remember success isn't random it's because we apply the work to it and you're going to see it coming in just make sure you balance yourself here make sure that you uh you don't overdo okay uh, set out a priority list and pace yourself in the process well my beautiful lions my beautiful leos this is your reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to be mindful of the energy you throw out into the universe because the universe is reacting to you not happening to you and i'll leave you with this again the universe and the divine your higher self your higher power wants you to be happy wants you to find your happiness and peace so don't fight it. Surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Much love and many blessings.